Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today, I actually just wanted to talk a little bit about Moist Critical. Now, for those who, for some reason, wouldn't know who this guy is, uh, he's basically God himself. Um, this guy does a lot of shit. For instance, he has several videos of him playing with, like, sex toys and shit like that. Uh, and then it'll flip the script and he'll be donating uh, tons of money to charity. Uh, and then he's playing poker with Mr. Beast. And then, uh, shit, I mean, the other day he just bought a fucking storage unit and went through that. Found a whole bunch of fucking cards, which he also collects is fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Has an impressive collection, by the way, of both sex toys and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But I really wanted to talk about this guy because he has paved my YouTube, like, outlook completely and what i mean by that is like this guy has made me feel like doing what you love or uh, doing what you feel like doing and what you love doing is way more important than doing like the more popular thing just to create just to gain views just to gain subs just to gain all this other shit he made an advice video just telling you uh if you're short fucking deal with it but also uh, just like YouTube advice, YouTube and Twitch advice, he said that it's a uh, very rare thing to blow up, and that makes a lot of sense. It really is a luck-based thing, and like at the end of the day, as long as you're having fun, then you're not losing anything doing this stuff. But that's not the only reason that I really wanted to talk about Moist. See, Moist has something called Moist Esports. He is the manager of his own esports team that's uh, currently Guilty Gear, uh, Guilty Gear player, as far as I know, and then four Smash players, I believe. But I wanted to talk about this because he just posted a video. Uh, it's an it's kind of an older event now, but it's basically showing that his um one of his players from a tournament in Smash uh actually had to face against his other two uh players. He beat one in eighth. And he beat another in fifth. And <laughs> he climbed up through losers and won the entire championship. It was nuts. It was awesome. Uh, but that's not even what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the comment section. So this guy comments uh, on his video uh, for the Moist Esports jerseys. Uh, he wants them to be generic white shirts. And I cannot believe... Uh, if this has not been brought up in a stream or brought to charlie's attention i i genuinely don't know what else to say about it it's it's genuinely hilarious uh I, so those who like i said don't know uh how moist critical is he actually <laughs> exclusively wears white t-shirts for some fucking reason i i think he explained it at some point and i think the explanation went something along the lines of that's all I have, or something like that. <laughs> so that's really all I really wanted to say was just like, I wanted to bring it to attention that I think the uh, Moist Esports jerseys should 100% be generic white t-shirts, and if anyone wants to support Moist Esports, just wear generic white t-shirts. I think that would be pretty sick. Uh, I can also imagine Moist Esports coming out with like a merch line and stuff like that, but like at the end of the day, hardcore fans are just going to be wearing the generic white t-shirt. Uh, but also still, like, buying the stuff, like, when it's not game time. I don't know, that moist headband's pretty sick. But yeah, I just really wanted to talk about this guy because he inspires me to do a lot of shit. Um, I realized through him that I am very obsessed with uh, opening Pokemon cards, for starters. I, I, do, I did used to do that all the time as a kid. Um, not as, like, organized, I want to say, as I am now. He also showed me that I am very obsessed with abandoned things, which I'm actually going to be talking about in our podcast. If you guys don't know the podcast, you guys can go ahead and give it a listen. It's on our it's on our sixth episode, I think. Uh, seventh is coming out pretty soon here, guys. Uh, we will try to get back on the weekly schedule. We have just have literally not had time to record it. I love abandoned houses, finding half-submerged cars, uh, fucking the, the storage unit video made me want to buy a storage unit just so I can, like, fucking find everybody else's fucking old shit. I think that'd be pretty sick. 
Also, whoever's running this guy's fucking TikTok is killing it because he's pulling some real fucking ragers out. I love it. Um, I also love the uh, amount of like stuff that he does play. Like, I know it's like a lot of shitty games, and I know it's like uh, a lot of YouTube nights and stuff like that. But that's just like really keeps it fresh. Like, he really is doing what he wants to do. And like playing shitty games is hilarious at the end of the night because he's playing with all of you guys too. And I think that's really cool. A lot of what this guy does has inspired me to kind of not not shape my channel like his, but just shape my attitude like his. Just really do what I want to do with my friends. Um, not really conform to any one thing. Just kind of just breeze by. Just upload when I want to upload and upload when I want to upload and how many times and shit like that. Um, that being said, I do want to upload more uh, and i forgot to mention that i actually uh wanted to plug in my twitch uh just because i feel like i want to get a little bit more viewage over there um i actually stream like towards the night so if anyone like really can't sleep then i wouldn't mind having you guys as company uh i got off of work like really late so it's it's kind of like therapeutic to just be able to play with my friend it's usually uh Alyssa cat uh, but yeah, my Twitch is uh, Lone Sword on Twitch. I uh, hope you guys come by and check it out. I, I think I'm going to branch out do a whole bunch of shit instead of just being uh, playing Apex and maybe Siege. Uh, I think I'm actually going to be doing a few Pokemon streams here pretty soon, so that's going to be pretty sick. But yeah, that's really all I really want to say about Moist Critical. He's a really awesome guy, and shit, I hope he stumbles upon this fucking video in a random YouTube night. I think that would be really wholesome. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think that's it. See you guys.